to order at uh, 11 and 6. Hey, Kathleen, we're Slack and meeting. Right now. We're uh, just contacting you Kathleen Bacon, who okay. wanted to uh, right. She's on her way. talk to us. Okay. Uh, welcome, everybody. Maybe we can introduce ourselves. And, um, Jane Shaw. Christine Treves. Lydia Vivante. Richard Robichaud. Chris Wisniewski. Carol Maganor from the Energy Committee. Jed Foley. Uh, perhaps we'd like to start with um, anybody have, well, we can welcome. Um, are you here for a particular subject matter or just listening in? Welcome. Just listening. Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Any um, announcements? I do anybody? have a question. Yes. When you go to get coffee, iced coffee in this town, you don't get it in these. These are compostable at uh, Watts Farm compost, but nobody's so. using them. Um, the, the PLA is not usually compostable at farm compost. This Did is, he say in It says right on it, it is compostable. Yeah. Oh, I know it says it yeah. is. Yeah. But but we, it they, Watts, Watts Family Farm can compost these. Did they tell you that yes, specifically? She told, uh, she told me she could compost these. Okay. How does she do it? They have a commercial composter. And commercial composters can compost these. So that's one of the ones that takes energy, it uses a exactly. heat source. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So that's, yeah. Thank you so much. So that's the, that's the trade off. Right. Oh. Yeah, some restaurants are, are using corn, those. These are made now. from corn products. Right. 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 Yeah. Some restaurants are using what? those now. now. Yes, they are. It says right on it. Well, they're not, it was accepted when they're mixed with other plastics, they usually don't. No, you don't, you wouldn't mix them. You, you put them in with Watts Family Farm stuff. We've, well, all, we've heard different so, things. Yeah, I think yeah. it's like there's compost operations that have windrows that are all outside and they have the ticket to a I'm certain temperature. Glasses. You want to read what it says here? Richard, but, there's, there's <laughs> been plastic bags that say they're pleased to accept. It's, 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 it's been a subject of discussion it before, is. before yeah. how, how, just how compost they are. Are these better than the ones you get iced coffee in around town? If oh. you can find a place that actually can compost them. Yes. But of everything that we've uh, read and heard from right, other so com farm composters is that PLA requires an industrial facility. Which right. they have. Yeah. High heat. Yeah. Yeah. Really high yeah. heat. Yeah. Right, but so if, if so say say you wanted the town to go that way, how then do you separate I'm just, that stuff I'm just out putting it out there? That's, yeah. Yeah. Actually, the way to go is to, it's this. That's right. right. Yeah. Right. 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 And that's generally what we advocate is reusables. Yeah. And um, because of the uh, difficulty when that gets mixed in with like other clear plastics, yeah, no generally good. they always say like clear mm -hmm. plastics, but they mean PET and all yeah. that. So it contaminates PET. Yeah. Um, so it uh, and it creates um, recycling anomalies. And if you put it in compost or farm compost in your backyard, it will. Not compost. It doesn't, it doesn't compost. Yeah. It, you need an industrial. So is that a specific brand of PLA that does? Yes. Okay. It Could is. you hand me the cup so I can? You can have it. I, have, okay. I have a whole bunch of them. Okay. And the two things with those, the, the smaller units anyway, the restaurants we're using, there's the energy trade-off, yeah. and then there's a question of how much organic material is actually left in that, because it cooks it at a high temp. Uh, on the lid, it, it tells you more well. information. Um, so, and I don't oh, know. Sorry to interrupt. Um, for the camera, I think they went over this way. <laughs> I should, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Maybe next time. Sorry, I'm late. Uh, <laughs> all right. My meetings go on slips of piece of paper. And they don't get onto the calendar. So. I see. Um, my filing system is really askew. Do you recycle the paper? <laughs> yeah. uh, Kathleen, we just uh, welcome. Um, Thank you. We just want to finish with a question. Um, and your first name is Robert. Richard. Richard. Robert Richard. Um, brought up about a particular t a PLA product that is compostable by AJ Watts Farms, mm -hmm. apparently. Um, and so he was just bringing that to our attention and asking about if we advocate the use of this product <laughs> or it doesn't compost in your regular compost i've tried it mm -hmm. right. it may it may in yeah. years but okay. not you know not normally oh, right. yeah. and have you uh do you know what that what when they say commercial or industrial i've heard the, the word industrial read on the top uh, not on, on not on, on the, the on the lid okay 
So it says it's number seven, which is other, and then it says, yeah, I can't read what that says, compostable in commercial yes. facilities only, which blah, 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 blah. Okay. Um, so that's a particular place that we know of, and I guess it would be interesting to find out if other places like, um, what is the one called, Black uh, Compost with me in Falmouth. I think they, she has rejected those. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. This company makes bags like that. Yeah, so, yeah. and I know that uh, mm. the person that Wealthfleet has been talking to, Dave DeWitt, yeah. uh, said he will not accept PLA. Right. He'll take uh, uh, paper paper products and sure. uh, anything that can go through the shredder, but not PLA, and not even wax paper products. Mm. Yeah. Huh. Well, that's very interesting. Thank you for bringing that bringing that up. Um, but in terms of uh, what we recommend for products for people that ask, like at Oyster Fest, we said no PLA mm -hmm. because of the recycling difficulty and uh, the fact that even when we do introduce composting, which we hope to do in the near future when Dave gets his uh, licensing, um, then um, he can't take it. So we're basically saying it's not a good solution. There's a machine that I think the Norse Regional School has mm -hmm. that compost bones. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. we accept bones and uh, at the Wellfleet Transfer Station compost cart. For Watson and Farm. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. But it's pretty strict about what you can put in there. It right. certainly doesn't accept any paper products mm -hmm. other than paper napkins. Paper, yeah. Yeah, paper mm -hmm. napkins, yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. Um, so uh, our first agenda item was Kathleen wanted to come to talk to us about. Yeah, um, Chris here made a, a you know a post on Facebook with regard to the recycling efforts that were made at Oysterfest, and um, in, to my thinking, um, they fall far below what we should be doing. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not sure how we can increase it. I'm not sure if um, what we need to do going forward is to consider a municipal ban on all plastic cups. Um, uh, Winslow Tavern in particular, Preservation Hall, mm -hmm. um, all of them were using um, non-recyclable um, plastic. Yeah. And um, I, I'm not in a small amount either. Oh, I know. Um, so how can we reach out to um, more individuals, not just the vendors, but more individuals and um, decrease the recycling? Well, the, uh, what our goal for was this year for the Oyster Fest vendors, which we did have control over because we, were, we could dictate to them what products were, uh, were acceptable. So we started there, and there was quite a bit of churn with them about finding replacement products. Uh, we didn't approach Main Street businesses at all, or even Hatches, you know, which is in the area of question. Uh, that is something that we're going to talk about trying to do next year. Okay. Um, and hopefully with maybe some more, um, uh, a bylaw or something regarding single-use plastics, that might be a done deal mm -hmm. by then, but it's definitely something that we when we're gone for next year. Yeah, I, I talked to our town, assistant town administrator, Mike Travato, and um, he did suggest that the bylaw might be the mechanism mm -hmm. um, we'll, we'll need going forward. Right. Um, so if that's, you know, my, my, my take on how we can, you know, what can we do more. Right. Mm -hmm. um, and we're going to have to find something to replace, you know, I, I think, are people going to say a Bloody Mary is going to be different in a paper cup than it is uh, plastic? I don't know. Yeah, the problem with the paper cups is that uh, they have to have some barrier for moisture. So which can be either be waxed. waxed, PLA, or polyethylene. polyethylene mm -hmm. that they Same with straws. Yeah, straws, well, straws can, can just be paper or metal. <laughs> but, 
Sometimes the, like a silicone coating can, I think, resist the water for a certain amount of time anyway. And we had a lot and we have of other natural wax also. Oh, okay. Yeah. Can, you know, break down. It doesn't all have to be paraffin wax or, or plastic uh, film. Right. Um, but I just wanted to quickly say for Oyster Fest, what they did do is have, you know, hundreds, thousands and thousands of cans, canned water, canned mm -hmm. beer, canned wine. And they also served wine and beer in steel pint cups. So they actually, uh, I'm sure you know that from Christine's post also, it was something like 15,000 aluminum cans. Mm -hmm. so that's as many plastic cups that were, you know, that didn't exist at this festival. So they did a huge, and Christine was instrumental in that, they did a huge, um, they were highly successful zero waste um, operation there. Um, there's there's more that can be done, but I think to go from, you know, in just one year, it's a huge change. It's amazing. And maybe it will spur other businesses to consider reusables. Um, they were able to sell them, the steel cups, for, I don't know quite how much they were, but that was... Not very much, yeah. Not a lot of sales as souvenirs, so... Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was a huge mm -hmm. you know, money maker, too. Yeah, I guess I'm by far the oldest person here. Plastic cups are relatively recent. You know, we managed the amount of plastic mm -hmm. cups for mm -hmm. centuries. Yeah. Yeah, so that's I think true. we just have to get our heads around the fact that mm -hmm. plastic is sort of a mistake and we just have to mm -hmm. undo it. Yeah. Undo it. Yeah. Um, well, with regard to carbon and climate, yeah, it is a mistake. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but to get back to the steel metal cups, and I don't want to veer off the track here, um, it was very difficult to police um, the beverage in the steel metal cups if you know where I'm, what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. um, in other words, um, anything goes in. <laughs> there were issues. There were issues with the steel metal yeah. cups. Mm -hmm. um, and, um, but that was true of plastic cups too. No, cups? no, um, no. Um, if you had um, a beverage at, uh, an alcoholic beverage at Preservation Hall, mm -hmm. it had to be consumed there. The same with, um, Oh, I see. Uh, you're just talking about the same, same with Winslow's. Right. With the steel metal cups, people walk, were walking through the festival with mm -hmm. them, and nobody knew okay. if they had had um, a pour from someplace else yeah. or, or a nip in their pocket. Yeah. Well, um, um, yeah, but you yeah. saw the lines at the liquor stores. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's not just the <laughs> stainless steel cups. And and you're not supposed to walk on Main Street with a beer in the. No. No beer beyond X, you know, beyond yeah. Well, it was uh, because of the, the longer lines, I mean, the attendance was very high, and a new system in the beer tent. Mm -hmm. Lines were longer, and mm -hmm. the line out, a lot of people just went and bought booze, and mm -hmm. I saw people with open containers. Mm -hmm. uh, they didn't bother putting it in cups, so. <laughs> um, you, you may or may not know this, and again, I don't want to get off the recycling thing. Um, for the uh, two days that we do Oyster Fest here mm -hmm. on Wellfleet, we have the highest amount of alcohol sales out of all 365 days of the year. Mm -hmm. That's true. Um, so yeah. it's, a, it's a, an enormous um, mm -hmm. concern with regard to public safety. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'm not sure that the steel cups um, will be welcomed back next year. Mm -hmm. I would consider going forward with yeah. yeah, I'd be curious about the numbers, you know, from the police department or um, on that. I have, don't have it yet. I'll, mm -hmm. I, I'll have it before the end of this month. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, there were apparently no incidents or arrests, according to what Michelle heard from the police. Mm -hmm. So that's great. Yeah. We didn't have, uh, the security didn't pan out, so there was no uh, private security at the fest this year, which didn't help because they do search at the mm -hmm. entrances and at mm -hmm. least observe behavior. So. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, I don't see that much difference between. I mean, people have reused, were reusing, refilling things for um, for water, for example. Um, I mean, you could put anything in any kind of container yeah, you if can. you don't have the security to check yeah. what people are bringing out of the grounds. And uh, we didn't have this that this year, so that was a big problem. It's impossible to have with the number of people. Yeah. It's it, impossible. It, and to have the liquor store right on Main Street. Yeah, yeah the liquor store was a, a huge problem. Because <laughs> <Yeah, laughs> yeah. yeah. even if you search people as they come in, yeah, there's yeah. a liquor store. Yeah. They can right. buy it yeah. <laughs> You know, and I was checking, yeah. you know, dumpster diving on Main Street to get out the, the cans. And I mean, there were, you know, cases of empty beer cans <laughs> being thrown in there. So, mm -hmm. 
there was uh, and plenty, plenty else. But um, yeah, we're totally with you on trying to get mainstream businesses to buy in. Um, we're sort of taking one chunk at a time that we could control. And I think that part went really well. The vendors were, the only <laughs> plastic I saw was out of hatches. Yeah. Um, and that, you know, we'll definitely have to work with, with the businesses next year. There were some dessert cups that looked like they were plastic, some kind of chocolate pudding stuff oh, yeah. that was Yeah, that was in. from, uh, was that Chocolate Cafe maybe? Uh, Chocolate mm -hmm. Chocolate. Oh, Chocolate. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. um, they had wooden spoons. Uh -huh. um, they had a, uh, bamboo or whatever, uh -huh. but they had, uh, Mm -hmm. Last. So those were uh, like bowls, or they were a little, well, almost like an ice cream cup. Oh, okay. One so ounce or two ounce. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Any any anecdotal uh, feedback is appreciated <laughs> for next year, so we'll know who to tag. Um, and in terms of uh, you know composting is something that we've been trying to work for for the past couple of years, but. Uh, it's really hard to maintain uh, more than three waste streams. Um, I mean, the big new thing this year was just cans, and then we sorted it all out and redeemed the cans. So that took a lot of uh, manpower to go through all of the recycling. Who redeemed the involved. cans? Um, so uh, Sustainable Practices from Brewster um, had volunteers that sorted out everything that came in from Town Hall Recycling. And then they bagged them, and they were sent back with the beer vendor. And um, the money on that redeemable? That was for uh, a fundraiser for re for uh, sustainable practices. Since right. they did the work, they did the separating. Yeah. The collecting and the sorting. That was something that otherwise we wouldn't have redeemed them. Been able to redeem them because they had to be sorted out. Yeah. So that was a good way to pay that forward. Yes, mm -hmm. definitely. And yeah. they're using that fundraising to help with the kids. Yeah, very, very exactly. Very yeah. Yeah. So, I yes. saw all the um, bagging and the sorting. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, Ready to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. On Monday. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah. And getting compost collection in there is something we'd like to do because with everybody using paper products, compostable products, at least the Oyster Fest official vendors, um, we could definitely. Um, add a compost stream, but we just didn't have anyone that could take yeah. it yeah. this year. The thought is that they're going to put it through a chipper. Yeah, Dave paper. has a chipper, so he'll take, he likes paper products. Nobody wants to buy the stuff anymore. What? That's the problem. The cardboard and things, the market is oh, disappearing. Yeah. Yeah. Well, especially yeah. food soiled. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it goes in the trash. Mm -hmm. All righty, is there anything else that like to share Where um, are you at with uh, plastic nips and uh, what, are, what are we doing going yeah, forward with regard to that? We sent a resolution to Senator Sear and Rep Peak, Sarah Peak, and I uh, haven't gotten a letter back. But that's, um, that was asking that the governor put a deposit, redeemable deposit on nip bottles and single use plastic water bottles. But that's one of those things that you know, has to be passed by the legislature. If um, we sent a one to the select board as well Got it. to see if they'd like to sign on to that resolution. Yeah. Could bring that up at a future meeting. I will. When are the, um, you say that the steel cups may not be welcome back, which to me seems like a shame, you know. Mm -hmm. if we, Got rid of all that. But when are you guys going to be discussing this? Um, I, I've asked um, on a future agenda for um, Michelle Inslee to come to the select board um, specifically to give us the you know blow by blow of this past oyster fest. And, and if you determine that steel cups were the reason that people were able to move alcohol to other places, do you have an alternative suggestion? In um, mind no, I don't. And in addition to you know, getting comments and feedback from her. Um, I'll also be asking for, um, you know, Chief Hurley and Chief Polly uh, to weigh in on, um, you know, their assessment. Um, I, 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 I haven't, you know, I, I heard from uh, people that were involved with SPAT um, that that was what they were hearing with regard to the steel cups. Mm -hmm. um, I, you know, um, so we'll, we'll, 
you know, Michelle always comes back and gives us a, a blow by blow. Um, I think the recycling efforts um, that were made this year were um, monumental. Um, but can we take it up a notch? Absolutely. What can we do? Yeah. We've got to keep doing that. Yeah. Um, I think the, uh, uh, again, um, the uh, numbers that we did this year were very significant. Um, in addition to my recycling concerns, mm -hmm. um, I want to see what the emergency management plan is because if we had had a situation in the center of town, mm -hmm. um, and you think of that, if you Absolutely. know, in my position, mm -hmm. um, you know, what what were the consequences? So yeah. um, there was one medical incident um, who was, someone was taken out in the ambulance. Yeah. Um, I, I don't even know how they got an ambulance in there, but uh, they do. Well, the ambulance is pre-staged right yeah. next to admissions, and that's outside of the uh, barrier, yeah. so they had a clear path now. Um, so we'll, we'll hear from Michelle, I hope, this month. Yeah. She's having a private... Last, last year's we've had one big debrief, so we can't go into a lot of detail. She's doing it independently with the cherry, and she's doing public safety, I think. It's still in the future. Um, uh, you know, but personally, from my standpoint, I, I don't think that, um, I, I think it's managed really, really well. I think every year that goes by with Oyster Fest, um, we see, um, you know, we see it significantly improve. Mm -hmm. But for the town, for the municipality to do those numbers in two days, right. mm -hmm. uh, it's an enormous stress. Yeah. Yeah. But it's telling that, like as you said, there are no arrests and no uh, major incidents. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's quite something, considering mm -hmm. the number of people that were there. Mm -hmm. And I'm I'm in the restaurant both nights, and um, you know we saw um, a great group of people come in after the festival that mm -hmm. were mm -hmm. not on their hands and knees, so to speak. <laughs> so it, was, it was good for us. <laughs> Well, thank you for coming. Yeah. Uh, our next uh, agenda item is on uh, programs, uh, the Wellfleet Elementary Spaghetti Dinner, November 16th. So we just heard um, uh, maybe 10 days or two weeks ago from the PTA that they're doing it in fall rather than spring this year, because uh, there's too much other stuff going on in spring. And they asked if we would do uh, community cutlery, you know, pre-wrapped in napkins in that basket over there as we did last year. So we're going to have a wrapping party afterwards. I forgot to mention it ahead of time, but if anyone is available to stay, if you can't today, then we'll reschedule for next week because it's a week from this Friday. And we're also providing compost, and uh, Dave uh, DeWitt can, can accept it, so we just have to figure out how to get it to him and what to collect it in because we lost uh, a number of our um, green compost buckets uh, in the shed fire at the transfer station. And so I think we only have the ones that are in Mm -hmm. in there, which is holding community cutlery right now. Mm -hmm. um, so What's the volume? For five gallon. Yeah, and we, how I many? Think we, yeah, so last year Mike from uh, brought to, from the transfer station one of his big, um, I don't know if they're 65 gallon, the, the ones one he used, the, the, the Watts stuff. ones that yeah. they use, yeah. And I would say we didn't, it wasn't even half, maybe a third full. Okay. But that was only the food waste that we scraped off the paper plates because right. it was going to Watts and they didn't want the paper plates. <laughs> right. So this year, but I think we're going to do the same thing, you know, with the food waste in there and then, because yeah. last time we scraped the plates and then like stacked them and then they were thrown away. But this year we can bring the paper plates. Yeah. I have access them. to unlimited five gallon buckets. <laughs> oh. Literally hundreds. Oh, really? You know? Yeah. Can you supply more shell buckets for Easter Fest too? <laughs> oh, sure. Yeah. Someone mentioned that pool service yeah. was a yeah. 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 yeah, we got through literally hundreds. Oh, of wonderful. Months, so. That's great to know. Uh, so would you like a dozen for the spaghetti supper? You think five gallon buckets yeah. make sense, or do you want you know, different containers? Have them and not use I think. Do they have lids by any chance? Or? Yeah. Oh. I can. I can. Lids or no lids? Oh, okay. Yeah. With lids would be awesome because then we could just cover them up and put them right. in the back of it. Yeah, because food waste gets heavy if you put it in anything larger than mm -hmm. five Absolutely. gallons. For the yeah. paper, yeah. you know, we could use cans, but that's excellent. Thank you, Jed. Yeah. With lids. Perfect. 
So uh, we also will need uh, volunteers to, we, last year we set up tables and everybody brought their things to us, was put on the table and then we processed where, which uh, waste stream of things went into. Um, and I think, uh, who's, who's so far? Us? I think yeah. Lonnie and... Beth, I think is, oh, maybe Beth. I'm not sure. Yeah, okay, so let me just see. So it's Lydia, Christine, is anybody else? It's on, um, I think it's at five. Uh, and we set up at four last year on Friday the 16th. Um, I'll I'll check with Bonnie and Okay. I'll put question marks by maybes. <laughs> um, and anything else about the spaghetti dinner? Mm, I don't think so. If you want to stay after the meeting today, we're going to be rolling the, the forks up and napkins. Could you use some extra hands? That. That'd be great. Right. I'll even drive you home afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> Depends on how many Good. napkins you roll. <laughs> <laughs> um, Alrighty. Next thing was uh, community cutlery, library of things. Do you oh, want to sure. address that? Um, yeah. One one other thing for the um, elementary spaghetti dinner. They um, they have a raffle there, and I wondered if. We could um, offer them some of the cotton napkins that we've bought in the past as a kind of raffle prize. And, um, They're kind of stained. <laughs> no, no, not the, not the used ones. We oh, a new one. Set. <laughs> yeah. No, get a new set and okay. make a kind of basket with them, um, kind of get the point across that a family can easily use these rather than disposables. Oh. Ooh. Um, I think they're about $20 for 12 or something, something like that. Okay. 18 19 so, what a set of interest to... That's a good idea. Mm -hmm. yeah, okay. 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 I'll, I'll go ahead. I wish we had some uh, recycling committee paraphernalia. <laughs> or or uh, swag, rather. Uh, yeah, we have some stickers and stuff okay. like that. <laughs> a note card or two? Yeah. Okay. Great. Is that something you're willing to yeah, put I'll together? Yeah, that through. Wonderful. Thank you. Sure. Um, so, the community cutlery, Christine has been talking with the library about expanding the community cutlery program to and calling it the library of things you've probably heard of this there's other ones on around the world where you can borrow all kinds of things like vhs players uh, maybe um, a drill uh, things that you may not want to store at home i know that often tools are, are loaned this way and uh, depending on their storage and what the needs are uh, could come up with some neat things for people to borrow. Um, the challenge for the library is figuring out um, how to barcode things and how to manage the pickups, drop-offs, um, and for things like community cutlery that are individual pieces, how would we manage that, That's that kind of thing. So um, we're just going to be setting up a meeting. And apparently there's a number of other libraries on the Cape that are already doing it. Um, and Naomi was just telling us that Truro had a, a submersible automated vehicle that you could like go and take pictures under the water. <laughs> <laughs> That's That's cool. Cool. <laughs> All kinds of stuff. Yeah. So we need to come up uh, with a list of the things that we either already have or could get or people want to donate um, so that they can we can discuss that with them about how it could be managed if they have sufficient storage. And um, while we're on storage, I also just wanted to mention um, that we need, we really need recycling shed to store all of our stuff in. Um, and maybe we had mentioned at a previous meeting, I was doing the September minutes, and we had talked about maybe getting a new uh, swap shop community cutlery storage building in the budget. You know, because mm -hmm. I don't know when, when if ever, it's going to happen. Yeah. Um, I know the Universal Waste Shed, where our stuff used to be stored, mm -hmm. or some of it, not the cutlery, but some of the buckets and recycling bins and things, um, they want to replace that, but not with just a small shed. They want to maybe have a bigger building oh, okay. at the transfer station. So maybe there could be a part of it. Okay. Um, I'd like to know more about that. That's something interesting. I would support yeah. that. I think that mm -hmm. um, I'm, I'm reluctant to um, use the library for any more storage. We're trying to free them up. Right. Um, you know, um, space has been tight here for a while with mm -hmm. the um, AV equipment, so mm -hmm. um, I'm in favor of uh, seeing something out of the transfer station. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, Access is important. You know, very similar to the bookshed. 
Right. Correct, exactly. I mean, we need a building of that size. Yeah. A lot of stuff is in my basement and shed, and right. my idea's basement. I mean, it's all over the place. I think we should probably um, put that on for Springtown meeting. I mean, I don't, I don't know where the DPW is with it, but we can also move forward with a request. Yes, I think that's a good idea. Uh, that's what how Truro got their nice swap shop is. Mm -hmm. Put it in the budget. <laughs> it was approved. Yeah, I'll get an article. Yeah. Written. Um, we can approach uh, transfer station. I just talked to Mark uh, Vincent yesterday about um, the refill bottle refill okay. station, but um, so I'd have a, not a very good update, but something. But anyway, we mm -hmm. can bring that up with him too, just mm -hmm. to include him. Um, so if anybody has ideas about community co or library things, mm -hmm. things that we can do or things that we can solicit from uh, people, let us know. Uh, next thing is... Um, Can you prevent people borrowing them and not bringing them back? Well, it would be handled on um, the first scale. Like it a fine. Just, just like the something. library. Yeah. yeah. So it would be incorporated into their system of tracking okay. and finding 10 cents a day. For we have two, yeah, two weeks to return this. Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, it's yours. Sometimes <laughs> and maybe I'm, some things we might have to have deposits or, or things. Well, um, yeah. Hmm. I mean, I love the idea that you, know, yeah. you don't use very much Wi-Fi then you could really right. mm. rent them. You could donate your rehabilitated queer art. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of With tools are you nickel. talking about? It's you mean like screwdrivers and hammers? Well, and you know, fireworks? we don't have space for that kind of thing. Yeah. Um, but that's, if you have a shed, you Yeah, like in Seattle, every neighborhood has this yes, garage yeah. room that is yeah. staffed and you come and get whatever tool you need. Yes. Oh, but uh, we need space and personnel for that. But, you know, it can go anywhere, as long as we have uh, space and okay. people can manage it. We got a call the other day at the Amesett shop to um, borrow. They asked us if we had a VHS camera. Oh. Someone wanted mm -hmm. one of those. And mm -hmm. I haven't seen one of those in years. We have one at home. We can donate. Oh, there you I'm go. I'm never going to use it again. <laughs> no? <laughs> yeah, okay. We'll throw our junk piles. Hmm. Anything else on that? Oh. Uh, next item was carry and carry out uh, planning. Well, we have it on the agenda, and uh, <laughs> there are signs posted. Um, you know, when you go to the ocean beaches or other beaches, mm -hmm. um, it's just a question of making it somehow grow. And I don't know if it's starting at the ponds. I mean, the ponds do have a sign already from the National Seashore that says carry and carry out your trash and cigarette butts, I think is what it says. Mm -hmm. So um, it's one of those things where I think it could, it could work if there's a five-year plan and if there's a commitment. Um, Den the town of Dennis had a pilot program that went well. It's kind of a question of will the Department of Public Works are they on board? Would they like to try it again? Is there any kind of report from Dennis? I haven't heard yet. Heard yeah. That. Are there there are those municipal meetings where the sometimes select board members go and yeah. administrators? And um, there's one coming up I think this month and it's on um, recycling. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Do you think um, it's in Hyannis? I believe it's in Hyannis. Are those open meetings or it's just for us uh, oh, board members? It's for selectmen and councilmen. Oh, okay. Um, they have a, a once a month breakfast. Okay. And each um, breakfast has a theme. Mm. Um, but to get back to um, the carry in, carry out at our ocean beaches, um, I'd like to invite the uh, uh, beach administrator, Suzanne Grout Thomas, to a select board meeting to give us a, you know, a, um, an update on how it went at the beaches this past season with regard to um, mm -hmm. trash and recycling. Um, I think it went. Well, I, I think it went better. Um, we didn't get any egregious photographs of dumpsters mm -hmm. overflowing our 4th of July without a, a vendor picking up the trash. Mm -hmm. um, so. They, did, they didn't do uh, re recycling dumpsters last, uh, this year. Right. Because the fact that they were contaminated. Were which obviously they would be, because they're just a big dumpster <laughs> resting yeah. right next to the trash. Well, I had M.A. Frazier was doing cooking all the time. Right. Yeah. And Maybe she could um, ask the town of Dennis, each department, about their program and see 
could replicate it here. There were three beaches in Dennis. Exactly. Think of Bay Beach and two Ocean Beaches. That's what beach. I'd like to uh, talk mm -hmm. about with her, yeah. yeah. We have more beaches. Yeah, we do. We do ocean want. would be real, a real challenge, but I think maybe yeah. starting with a, mm -hmm. a pond Just think of, bay. if it worked, it could work on the whole Cape, and just think of the money that would be saved. For these towns could put that money into other programs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think um, regionally is the way we should be looking at it, mm -hmm. you know. Um, and it's, it's great that Dennis has got this pilot program going. We should look at that program and see, mm -hmm. you know, if we can. It is true though that people behave better at the pumps than they do at the beach, isn't it? They drink less. Mm. Drink less, yeah. At that's probably the bad problem with that, most things, yeah. I think the other words, it shouldn't be that difficult. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, that's, um, so maybe. A, you're going to go to that municipal meeting? Yeah. We'd love to hear about it. Yeah. Maybe get the minutes from them. By the way, I'm uh, doing the minutes because we don't have a secretary. So if anyone would like to be a secretary, not many of us here, but <laughs> step forward. I know. <laughs> <laughs> the floor. Alrighty, next thing, refill well fleet status. Well, yes. Tell us what you heard. Well, I uh, so we're in a, a little, a little um, kind of an issue. With, well, first of all, the marina. We purchased their um, bottle refill station, same as in Bakersfield, in May, and it sat there all summer. And apparently. So you got in touch oh, yeah. with Will, and there what was, was it some, that he said? There was some plumbing um, issue, but they were able to resolve that. They okay. had to, I guess, drill a hole into the ground. Right. And um, so they're ready to go. The thing is, they figure, well, if we put it out at this time of year, yeah. then we'll just have to bring it in in a month or two for right. the winter. So why not just do it in the spring? Mm -hmm. Which makes sense, just as long as it actually, I think it will get done. They they seem like they you know they've taken the steps to right. install it yeah. so um, it's just a question of reminding them or right. or getting hopefully some publicity around it when it does happen. Um, um, I tried to follow there, up. Go ahead. There's a smaller festival down at the harbor these days in the springtime. No, that's been discontinued. Oh. Okay. Um, I can't imagine that they would unmount it and bring it in, or they probably have to do oh, a they cover it. Yeah, they yeah, put a box it. like the one at right. the Bakersfield Rec yeah. building, but that too, you know, they could, uh, Yeah, it's maybe better to I just... I mean, I would certainly, rather than they do it now, and put the box up <laughs> so yeah. they're ready rather than uh, have it delayed. I think they're probably worried about the line freezing. Yeah. yeah. Well, that you have to drain. Yeah. For sure. Mm -hmm. But that's going to happen every winter once they mm -hmm. put it up. So. Well, I want me to just check in with them and see. Well, I, I sent an say. email to Will, but I haven't heard okay. back, so. Or maybe I left a message, too. I can't remember. But it, maybe you'll have better luck <laughs> since you by there. Anecdotally, I was out of town for Oyster Fest, but mm -hmm. I was in New York, and I saw a water bottle filling station. This was, you know, upstate in the mountains. Uh -huh. I, I had my bottle with me. I got all excited. I pulled the tap, and the smell of sulfur. I'm sure the water oh. was probably <laughs> fine, okay. but, but it, it smelled so yeah. bad. Yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, it's good for you. Like four years, it always smells. Yeah. 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 Isn't that supposed to be like those spas that you yeah. used to have? Yeah, yeah. 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 it's fine. Yeah. 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 Too bad they didn't go for the filter option. Right. <laughs> right. No, there was no chiller and no filter, but it right. was a convenient, yeah. It was a nice mm -hmm. Probably if you let it run for a while, it would be improved. Right. Right. So regarding the marina, so so we need to write a letter to um, to Nossip Disposal who donated mm -hmm. that, explaining why after you year they still haven't um, seen it's been they're sponsored. It's been a year, yeah, oh, since yeah. they made the donation. Mm -hmm. So I mean, I updated them in May, um, but I, I need to write a letter, let them know. Um, and then uh, Spat also uh, made us. Donated for the town hall <coughs> unit outside exterior. Outside, yes, mm -hmm. and um, Mark went there with the uh, town usual town plumber um, Steve, and they found the best place would be right at the bottom of the fire escape. There's a concrete pad there. 
they'd have to drill through the pad, put a new pad in that's the right height, and they'd have to drill through the foundation, but then the pipes are there. But uh, mm -hmm. the estimate was $3,000 for that, and we only collected 2000 which covers the cost of the yeah. unit. Um, but Lydia and I had a, had a meeting with the water commissioners, which I think was mm -hmm. almost a year ago. Mm -hmm. It was early, um, yeah, in January, could... February. They were very interested in maybe doing something more like a pedestal style one where you have a dog dish and this and that, self-standing, like on the lawn, the benches or whatever. Um, so we, they said, bring us a proposal. So when I talked to Mark yesterday, I told him that we would like to at least look at that option too, because there are freestanding ones, like mm -hmm. P-Town has on mm -hmm. the lawn. Yeah, um, right at their town hall. Right. Mm -hmm. um, I will say that anything that involves um, the town lawn, mm -hmm. where the two trees are, can get very controversial. <laughs> <laughs> stay away from um, the trees. <laughs> so, uh, um, heads up. Yes. And, uh, Try to avoid that area. Yeah, possibly. for sure. <laughs> uh, Several groups are battling over it. I know. Mm. Um, and you know, maybe anyway. So we have to go there. And um, SPAT did ask for exclusive sort of sponsorship rights. So uh, we have to figure out how that works if we. Mm -hmm need to share those sponsorship rights, or maybe the order commissioners don't need sponsorship rights. So that's where we are. And the town of, um, as you know, um, was that Nancy in Truro? Asked yeah. for our experience uh, about the water refill stations because Truro is interested in doing something too. So um, we have a write-up now, which we should put on mm -hmm. the website, I guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good idea. Um, okay, anything else on refills? I don't think so. Uh, Oyster Fest, I think we covered mm -hmm. at the beginning. Um, sewing machine repair patching event. Do you want yeah, there to was. Let us know? There we had uh, three sewing machine experts. They repaired about 10 machines. Mm -hmm. It was combined with a boomerang bag sewing session. And the patching, there were no patches. I mean, there were, no one requested any patches, so oh, sure. that was, um, but the sewing machine thing was really popular, and yeah, yeah. it went well. Mm -hmm. uh, there was one machine, highly <clears throat> electronic, lots of computerized parts, mm -hmm. that that was kind of, I don't think that actually got repaired. It was yeah. taken apart with mm -hmm. using the fix-it tools, right. but um, there was, it, there was something wrong with the tension that they were uh, kind of really, um, it's hard to repair. Mm -hmm. And uh, one of the experts, Daniel Cleary, who's a fashion designer and excellent uh, sewing machine repair person, he really loves the old kind of cast iron mm -hmm. metal machines mm -hmm. with the parts that you could probably remake, you know, and right. you can take apart and put back together. Mm -hmm. um, so the, but it was, it was good, yeah, it mm -hmm. went well. And I know that they want to, of course, do the, the Fix-It Clinic, which Jed manages. Um, I think, was no, it the no, last? Notice use of the present tense. <laughs> yes. Yeah, no, I'm happy to do that. Last week of January was the date that Gabrielle said was the um, usual date for that. Okay. So, um, yeah. I didn't notice if she was working, but I will, I will get in touch with her. I think it's a Saturday, last, yeah, last Saturday in January. In the past years, ago. yeah, that worked well. Oh, that's a fix a clinic day. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. And um, uh, you know, I'm happy to help with something, some okay. organizational stuff. If, um, you did a great job on the day. Of Gabrielle's stuff. really got it down to a she formula. Does, yeah. that's pretty much, and just send out the okay. emails. I think the town of Chatham was really interested in doing one. There was a visitor at last year's. Okay. And maybe we should, oh. I think Gabrielle might have their info, but that okay. might be good to see if they want to. Yeah, yeah, no, I will mention that to her. Okay, great. Um, and next, what do we have? Yes, out Instagram posts. <laughs> started. Yeah, yeah. finally yeah. started. <laughs> um, let me first start with the um, the Facebook posts that, okay. that Kathleen had mentioned. So I I just put that up there because nobody else was saying anything about 
this achievement of mm -hmm. like how far we had come in one year and I just decided to put something out there individually. I was amazed there were over 300 people who, who reacted to it. Oh. What got me even more was that 37 people shared this. Some, there was one woman in Taiwan who shared wow. <laughs> it. Was like it was spreading around the place and it, that really made a, a, it, it felt impactful to me that mm -hmm. it was going beyond Wellfleet that yeah. this message was, mm -hmm. was being um, shared right. and I really liked that. Um, Instagram is starting off slowly. Um, we're getting a few more followers. I'm trying to kind of roll out the, the posts mm -hmm. you know, so that they're not all coming at once and so people can kind of um, get behind these. If anyone has any ideas for future ones, I have a few. Um, um, I have the, the community cutlery, some of the, the wedding mm -hmm. photos, uh -huh. um, so I wanted to post one of those. Um, if there's anything about the water filling stations, that would be a good thing to, to Probably post. Probably have some photos. Um, yeah. Those, yeah, we have some um, of the other ones from the use, that have been um, yeah. yeah, that would be great. Okay. Um, and then um, I can start putting the ones out that I had showed last month of mm -hmm. what you can recycle and what you can't. Okay. Um, and I'd like to run those by Mike before, mm -hmm. before okay. I post those. Um, but if anyone has any other suggestions. I have one, which I was looking um, in a magazine online the other day, and they were talking about pumpkins and how something like one billion pounds of pumpkins gets thrown in the landfill after Halloween. So I called Mike and he said they accept um, pumpkins at, in the wheeled cart, the compost cart at the transfer station. Should so. just make pies out of them. <laughs> yeah, There's a whole list of 10 things you, you know. But you're supposed pies. to take the seeds out of them, aren't you? So that they don't... No, they love the seeds. Oh, okay. The seeds are great. And he says you, you even put some in the leaf pile and they grow. And, yeah, you know, I like compost pile yeah. grows pumpkins. Yeah, mine so, too. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, the, green, uh, not yellow. Yeah. the weed raising <laughs> goats. Mm -hmm. Yes. The weed raising goats oh. um, of Cape Cod um, mm -hmm. would appreciate the pumpkins. Where are, um, where, where are these goats? Uh, we have to, to, right <laughs> would have to look uh, for Laura Kelly's yeah. Uh, yeah. posts. Mm -hmm. um, she's polka, you know, um, yeah. and uh, she's, you know, uh, these goats are, you know, for rent, they're available. Right. Um, they, they were just mm -hmm. up in Provincetown. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so... Um, you mean instead of having somebody cut, cut your lawn, you take a goat for a couple of days? Eight instead of, instead of herbicides. Yeah. Yeah. Feed oh, yeah. yeah. Feed everything in place. And, and, and brambles and things like and that. And so we're, yes. we're using yeah. these goats to uh, clear our byway, so to speak, so that we're not using poison or, mm -hmm. um, you know, anything like that. And. Um, Apparently they love pumpkins, so it's a gourmet meal for them. Maybe we can so share nice. saving our pumpkins. So, so how do we get the pumpkins to the goats? Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And that's uh, <laughs> making the connection. But um, you know, it's it's all connected. It really is. Mm -hmm. um, it's all connected, and it's um, it's all connected with regard to climate. Yeah. Um, you know how we do this. So, so Lydia, the pumpkins there, we can bring them to our transfer station. Yes. yes. Okay. Yeah. And said so that they always could also. They, but in the past, they'd sometimes put them in the leaf pile. Mm -hmm. But this, these can go in the food waste carts as well. So, are, are those the, the bins that we um, collect compost in? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Those would fill up fast with pumpkins. Yeah, but he might be able to get some extra carts and stuff. So, for the pumpkins, depending on how many arrive. Okay. So the Facebook post, it was on your personal Facebook? It was just on my, my personal okay. one. Do, uh, do we even have a Facebook? Well, we no, don't, but we use the Wellfleet community space for well, publicity. You know, actually, else, that's, so. that's a, a question, because I had um, more than one person. I have a couple of people who have been asking me questions about uh -huh. what they can recycle and what they mm -hmm. can't. Mm -hmm. And 
um, I started telling them, oh, you should just start following our Instagram mm -hmm. feed because I'm going to start mm -hmm. putting that information up. A few people are not on Instagram, and they said, well, how can we get the information then? Uh, so I don't know. Is it all right well, for me to... Well, we can do it. We can create a Well Fleet Recycles Facebook page. Or, I mean, Gabrielle mm -hmm. said that she would help us mm -hmm. with it, but yeah. if we gave her, told her what we wanted to post. But or or could we use the Well Fleet community? Yeah, yeah, which is absolutely. Absolutely. Just, mm -hmm. Even yeah. if it's just like general a recycling information. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, because yeah, that would have a broader mm -hmm. readership, absolutely. I think. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so I can, I, I can do that. I can just mm -hmm. kind of put the yeah. You as a group, group can post anything you want on the community space page. Okay. Um, right now we're we're looking at uh, Cumberland Farms. Mm -hmm. um, Huh? And what's being posted for Cumberland Farms? Huh? Mm -hmm. Hmm. Anything else, Chris? No. Okay. Did you get photos of what people were using instead of balloons after the uh, the balloon bylaw was passed? I I was on. Um, I thought I took pictures. Did I send any to you? Yeah, I for a birthday lantern. party. I saw a woman with her little boy out putting up these beautiful uh, purple paper lanterns, like oh. hanging in the trees, mm -hmm. leading up to their. Oh, if you have those, send them to me. Yeah. Okay. Maybe Leon took them with his camera. I'll check. I was at a memorial service this um, past fall, and um, there were balloons. Oh. Right here oh. in the fleet, and yeah. uh, you know, I <laughs> right. They let them go, like they yeah. went down to the ocean. Oh, and let them go. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, yeah. that's really bad. Yeah. Um, yeah, that may be why I, <laughs> I was walking on Newcomb, and there were so many balloons. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I was picking up. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that's probably why. And. Um, mm -hmm. Well, we're good to get an after about balloons. Christmas. Alternatives, uh, you know, that'd be a great thing them. to put on Instagram. Mm -hmm. is, um, don't don't suggest the uh, floating lantern paper bag. So. Yeah, those are bad too, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. they call them yeah, yeah, there was an article in the newspaper one year. There were two two weddings in Provincetown that let them go on the same weekend with Alas, and they're like, you know, they floated flames. <laughs> over one of the most flammable towns in the yeah. you know. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. Mm. Um, huh. yeah, I'm not sure what you know, I mean obviously you know, you know, kind of other places, but. Uh, let's see, where are we here? Uh, recycle info card. We were talking about whether we mm. should make reprints and that uh, has fallen by the wayside. I think maybe I was supposed to ask Mike if they needed more. Yeah, there are not any more left here. Um, My cousin. Not we here at the library. A, we gave him a stash to put on the, you know, the window. Is there anything you could do on the tax bill? That's a, oh, it's really pricey. Yeah, it's, 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 yeah, it's no longer free. Yeah, it's a billion <coughs> stuff in the tax bill. It cost us like 350 bucks, and we didn't even realize that it was when they started going to a printer and they they use really heavy paper. Yeah, that was a mistake. Yeah. I don't know why they used that really heavy. It was a cardstock. Yeah. So no and, wonder. And but it cost a lot. <laughs> so. Well, this tax bill, they did inserts for the cemetery. They did, yeah. They're just small paper inserts. They're not the ones yeah. that you Oh, really? So yeah. we should ask mm -hmm. again, okay. apply for the spring. We could do that. I'll look into that. OK, great. So can I ask one question? Um, so if I were to repost things on the Wellfleet community page, since we don't have our own Facebook Wellfleet recycling page, mm -hmm. would it be better for us to have that so then Wellfleet recycling would be the one posting, not me? Doesn't that make sense? I, I think that does make sense. Okay, I, so I, I could set that up. Okay, yeah. great. Okay. Rather than have your name yeah. going out. That's, yeah. yeah. Does the town of Wellfleet have any? No, they don't have their own. No, but they've been talking about having a social media presence or whatever the word is. Yeah, I'm not really tech savvy. To, yeah. You know. Um, mm -hmm. Well, the town administrator puts out a letter, mm -hmm. stated what's going on. Yeah, mm -hmm. he just did. Mm -hmm. Where does that go? Letter? I don't know where I saw it, but I saw it somewhere and read it. It, 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 it was an email, I think. Yeah, it, well, actually, no, he, he posts um, a uh, Wellfleet newsletter. Newsletter. And right. it goes out on the Wellfleet Community Space page. Okay, it does go on um, the Community Space. 
Yeah. Um, Pretty informative. You can sign up for, for emails also on the right. home page. Yeah, I go to the community space page, not super frequently. Yeah, I haven't I seen it there. I've just gotten emails, okay. but I don't look at Facebook. So, uh, so the recycle smart. Uh, maybe we can just approach that through social media then, rather than a reprinting um, of the info cards. Or do you yeah. think we should still pursue um, making printing some more? I think we should because people, you know, they'll put it on. They'll post it on their fridge. Uh -huh. They'll mm -hmm. keep it, yeah. and it can go to all the cottages. I mean, mm -hmm. it's something that yeah, and not everybody's on Instagram or Facebook. So right, I, think it's I don't good. use Facebook. Is, it, um, and if there's anything that needs to be edited or updated on that, let me know. Yeah. You can put them on a table for town meeting where they have all that yeah. yeah, I think it's worth doing. It's it's really it's really well, the other side could be... <laughs> it's, well, it's, 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 I think it's like, the, tiles and it's like the, yeah, the less common things, the rigid bulky plastic and mm -hmm. things like that. Right. So the, the main information is on the front. Right. Right. And, and people can flip it over. Yeah. And do you remember how much it was? I forget, but I can look that up. Yeah. Maybe you could yeah. uh, check on the cost for yeah. the next meeting. Yeah, and if you could just um, look it over, or I, I can send out a, a PDF of it and just let me know if there's anything that needs to be changed before yeah, we Yeah, the best thing print. to do would be to send it to Mike. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, uh, and then he'll check it for I you. don't think it had plastic baggies on it, but that's and no longer happening. Anyway, so, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I don't think it did. Yeah. Just okay. Speaking yeah. of rigid bulking, I don't want to, but um, someone was at the dump, and it wasn't Mike there talking to it, it was Ben, but he said they weren't sure how long yeah. That Richard and Bulky was right. going to be there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's it, getting rejected or it's harder to yeah. recycle or whatever. Just depends, a lot of it depends on our capital paper. Okay. Recycling and what they can find a market for. Okay. Can make it, whether they can sell it or not. We do need a campaign at Garden Center, so we to stop using this heavy mm -hmm. plastic. Yeah, no, there's alternatives like that. There are alternatives to that. Mm -hmm. Let's start the campaign. <laughs> well, that's our next plastic and producer responsibility. Right? Yeah, that's yeah. true. Yeah. I guess the black flower pots weren't being read by the plastic scanners, plastic yeah, facility true. scanners, so they're trying to make them a different color, which um, is an easy fix, I suppose. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. Uh, I think paper could be used, or Jane, what's an alternative to the flower pots? Well, I'm just thinking you, you can buy pots sometimes instead of a very um, firm natural substance. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, it's like a, a, right, like a tube or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Press paper. Mm -hmm. or yeah. Mm -hmm. I remember the stuff that looked like cocoa matting. It was mm -hmm. yeah, some kind of fiber. fibrous. Yeah. It was a fiber, yeah. a plant fiber. But, yeah. Okay. I'll make a note of that for future business. <laughs> Uh, let's see, are we done yet? Where are we? Oh yes, letter writing, plastics, and producer responsibility. Yeah, let's do something about the garden, garden pots, especially if rigid plastic's going to be okay. harder to recycle. Mm -hmm. And who were you doing the letter to? Oh, you said you wanted to do something to a spat board? Oh yeah, the spat, um, oh, well thanking them for all that they did, all mm -hmm. did for recycling this, this year. Right. You're so good at the letter writing. Oh yeah? Okay, I'll work on that. <laughs> <laughs> Flattery will get you. I know. <laughs> I was just hoping. Okay, is there a waste public service announcement? Yeah, I spoke to the filmmaker today and uh, they're going to show me <laughs> uh, what they've got. And they did some filming recently, so I'm excited about okay. that. Our deadline is December, really, December, January. Okay. And Wellfleet recycles note cards, t-shirts. Yeah. Some pricing on that from a company, Cape, that printed them last time, that printed the note cards, that is. Um, I think Jane has been saying that would be a nice thing to have. Yeah, group, I'm always you know, looking for something five of them. I think it was a birthday card because I mm -hmm. left it too late to go and buy them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 
So I can look that up. I'll give me. A, I'll need a minute or so to find. Okay. It. Um, you had also gotten some pricing on T-shirts. Yeah, I looked just online for those, yeah. and um, it looks like though they're basically fourteen to eighteen dollars each um, for the nicer ones, and then you yeah. can maybe down to eight or twelve for the mm -hmm. more. You know, That's with the day. logo printed. With I print. think it is. Yeah, and the more you buy, the with lower the, the price. Was, was that local or? It was no. It was just one of these online companies. Um, I just I, I can find out where the portraits um, got there. Kaleidoscope, their. isn't it? I'm not sure where Andrea. Andrea. She, there she's is looking a woman at a couple of different. Does a lot of yeah. silk screen for the yeah. local businesses. Yeah. And, 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 and she's got a cool. My kids always yeah. grew up wearing her recycled T-shirt. She has ones that she practices on. Oh. Yes. And when you go up there, you get these ones. They have eight <laughs> different logos. <laughs> 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 yeah. And also the the reuse guy. You know the the tiny home that was here. Mm. Gabrielle has all his information. He has a business of getting, well, that's from like, from concerts. He gets all of the unused t-shirts and then reprints on them okay. and sells them. That would be um, neat. So yeah. doing some reuse thing would be, yeah. nice. Yeah. Would be nice. You might I, check where the farmer's market t-shirts come from because they're the most comfortable ones. That, means, so that might mean they're more expensive. <laughs> and no tight necks, right? No tight necks. <laughs> <laughs> if we want Jane to buy one. <laughs> All right, so 100 cards would be $135. That's the cards and the matching envelopes. Uh, it's about, yeah. Would you say 135? 135. Okay. Yeah, for 100 cards. And that's something we would sell. I guess. As a fundraiser. Um, I also wanted to mention so this year for uh, Oyster Fest, um, we bought these um, aprons for all the recycling volunteers, That's and next great. year we're going to put, you know, the mm. Oyster Fest or spat or something on it. Mm -hmm. I, I have this one because it's broken, I have to uh. fix it. <laughs> <laughs> but um, they're really neat, and I was thinking they're these would be pockets. fun things for us to have, like spaghetti dinners. Yeah, and, uh, Maybe we should get some of these that have our, you know, even our little green logo yeah, on it or something. Yeah, that'd be great. And then... Um, How long would that take? Mm -hmm. um, Oh yeah, that's a good question. I'll find out. They weren't. These weren't very expensive. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're good. They were useful. And great useful. with the pockets and all that kind of stuff. I'll find out what they cost. I'll I'll get the woman that woman up Kate who does the silk screen. Cause I know this okay. time of year her turnaround is nothing. Oh know, really? She can she can do it in like a week this time. Okay. I could also well actually I have them at my house all the ones we bought. For oyster fest, and we had mm -hmm. some extra, so I could borrow from that, and we could replace them, and maybe we could yeah. get them. So yeah, I'll, I'll email you that name in a day or two. Okay, it could be that'd be great. Like white on green or beige on green or whatever. Uh -huh. Yeah, that'd be nice. Um, okay, last thing: Chamber of Commerce membership. Do we want to renew this oh, yeah. year? Do we so, want to renew? Yeah. The nonprofit rate is one hundred and twenty-five dollars for the year. Is it? Do you think it's worth doing? Um, some company, I mean, some organizations and businesses have after-hours events. We haven't really participated in anything. So, yeah. I've been uh, to one of them before. And I go to all of those. You, you go to them all. I, I, yeah. go, I go to quite a few. I mean, it's, a, it's a good idea I for us. Say, you were, sorry, you were. I bring Very brochures to the transfer to station and I bring brochures to the highway department yeah. and to town hall, even though I'm not really on the board of the chamber. But you were but for I a support long time, them. weren't you? Were I rebuilt their building. Yeah, I <laughs> But I'm not a member of okay. the board. Oh. Mm -hmm. I just volunteer okay. to do oh. things. Mm -hmm. Well, for their email blast, it, there's a fee for that yes, anyway, yes. and it helps to be a member. <clears throat> And we do that. We did that for. I think for you, there had. would be no cost if no, you were a member. Yeah, yeah, they've always for charged blast. us. I think for, we did for it for twice. Email blast? Mm -hmm. yep. For a nonprofit? Yep. Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah. That's not right. Mm -hmm. well, thank you. <laughs> we'll get up to that. <laughs> I'll speak to the president. The only reason I can, I think that, it, I mean, we have the Will Food Forum too. If it's a yeah, community thing, uh -huh. um, they, they'll, we ask them as well for, to blast things. Um, also, the, um, one of the strategies that Sustainable Practices is going to be using is to work through the chambers to oh. discuss the um, commercial. So maybe it would be good to, to keep our yeah. food in there. Um, um, and that would be a, a, a 
going to some of their events to kind of mm -hmm. talk about that with businesses and might be a good way to kind of network in the community. How much money do we have right now? Um, that's a good question, actually, Jeb. <laughs> because we haven't gotten reports for a while now. But okay. um, we did request, I think, a budget line of a few hundred dollars annually for mm -hmm. things right. like this. Yeah. The, I think the this fee and um, there were a couple of other things that we put I in that remember request. Spring after the printing, it, it, we had gotten pretty low. Yeah. yeah. Well, we definitely got some. We got more this year, seven hundred fifty dollars. Okay. But and next year we have to put more than that in mm -hmm. our budget. Back right. to the Chamber of Commerce, they're having their annual fall dinner at the Oyster I House. I saw that. Yeah, at Oyster. Mm -hmm. at look at Oyster. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That might be a good thing for a member right. to go. Yeah. 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 I'm going. Uh, yeah, maybe I should go down. You want to go, Chris? <laughs> I, I, I was debated, but I, yeah, yeah, that sure. would. <laughs> maybe we could talk about it. After we Yeah. Who are you going as a rep of this committee or no, something through else? No, through AIM Thrift Shop. Okay. Well, you could have two bags. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what, what day is the dinner? Does anyone know? It's the 14th. Uh, 14th. It's a Thursday. November 14th. 530 p.m. at the Wicked Oyster. Right. It's, it's benefiting the Amtrak shop this time. Yes. Yeah, so they they do a lot of recycling there. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think I could go too. And they have raffles and they have prizes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so is that a yes to the chamber membership? Or yeah. Especially since we do want to work with them on the okay. initiatives. I'll find out why they charge you for an e blast. Okay, thank you. I'll talk to Moo, he's the president. Yes, thank okay. you. Pressure Moo. <laughs> Moo, right? Not Moo. 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 Right. Bob Morrell. Right. Used to be in the, you know, Bob. Moo. Everybody calls him Moo. Right? Yeah. Okay. Everybody calls you rubber shoes. Yeah, that's right. That's right. I didn't even know his name was Bob. <laughs> I thought it was just Moo. Okay, I think we are just about to the end. Sorry you had to wait so long, Carol, but... That's okay. Um, lots of interesting meeting? stuff that you guys do. Um, so, if you've been to the dump, you've seen the beautiful solar yes. array, yeah. uh, which is mind-boggling. My understanding is that it can't be uh, hooked up, that um, Eversource won't hook it up until the title to the land is... Um, definitively established because it never was. There's not clear title, so they have to take it to land court, and I understand that the town council is working on that. So that's a wonderful development. Um, Suzanne Ryan and I have been uh, trying to get a grant going uh, through the Municipal Vulnerability Program, which we qualified for after a process uh, we got what's called a um, well a preliminary grant to be certified uh, along with the town of Truro as a municipal vulnerability community and this is and, a state program right? sorry is that a state program? state a state program um, <clears throat> and that qualified us to apply for their action grant and uh, we went looking for advice from um, Herring River and the Cape Cod Commission following advice from the select board when we appeared uh, before them a month ago. <clears throat> and the Cape Cod Commission said that they wanted to, to um, do a regional grant, so um, get other towns on the Cape to do this grant. And we thought, whoopee! We gave them a little bit of information, and, but it turns out that uh, the Cape Cod Commission, Heather McElroy, upon reading the grant, it can't be uh, anything but a town that applies for the grant. So now we have to scramble because oh, yeah. the thing is due on November 14 and see if we can get our town administration to take over the role of fiscal agent and reporting agent. There are monthly reports that are due on this. So the grant is for um, hiring a uh, structural engineer 
to look at low-lying roads, beach parking lots, vulnerable facilities that are subject to um, flooding. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're still at this point hopeful. <laughs> we don't know if other towns have said yes. We're not even sure that the commission has approached them. The commission is still willing to do a lot of the work mm -hmm. and help us with the budget, which is where oh, we yeah, really had no clue um, what, how to put that together. So um, we are continuing to work on this and mm -hmm. hoping we can pull it off. If not, the next cycle is in the spring for these grants. So. Oh, that's good. So, so we wouldn't have to wait long. Yeah. And that's it. Thank you. Does anybody have any other business? Uh, for future discussions, we still have the field trips um, to Wellfleet Truro and um, East Ham, all of the um, transfer station heads. We're going to do a field trip for people interested on the recycling yeah. committee. And it's hard we to wanted to, Yeah, and then, you know, it all got worked out for days when Livy and I couldn't go. Carrie arranged it, so we have tabled it for a while. And so that still needs to be resurrected. Um, and we should approach East Ham Recycling Committee. They mm -hmm. have one, right? Yes, they do. Okay. Yeah. Um, and true. They had hazardous waste collection in Provincetown for the fall, and I, and they're their recycling facility is really something. Is it? Yes, it's mm -hmm. something to see. Oh. <laughs> That's the first time I'd ever been there. Uh -huh. I had uh, hazardous waste that I needed to recycle. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe we should approach them too to include. Yeah, that's quite a mm -hmm. facility. There's um, the, for future concerns, the Shellfish Advisory Board is working on plastic pollution in the harbor. And the equipment that looking at alternatives to some of the equipment that they're using, oh, including zip okay. ties and some other stuff. They, mm -hmm. You can watch the, um, they had a meeting here October 9th, and you can watch the video either on your computer or on channel 18, or some of the other public access channels, and it was a really interesting meeting. Okay. I think the, the sound was a little iffy, and, um, but I, it was explained that if you watch it on the computer, the sound quality is a lot better. Do that. Okay. In, yeah. um, in getting back to what Lydia just mentioned with the shellfish um, uh, advisory uh, board, before the uh, selectmen earlier, or late October, we had a chance to change a shellfish regulation, which would um, mean that there would be no more overwintering of equipment okay. or gear mm -hmm. um, in the harbor. Um, it would be removed um, the first week of January um, through the, uh, the severe mm. winter weather. Um, I was the only vote that supported um, taking all the gear out mm -hmm. um, because of what we're seeing with regard to when we get the ice mm -hmm. that comes in, it takes this equipment yeah. um, and just pops it up all over the place. Yeah. It's affecting our marine life, and it's affecting um, the, the navigational uh, channel. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's a safety issue. Um, shell fishing is a $6.8 million business here in Wellfleet, and there's a lot of stuff out in the harbor. Yeah. Um, that's, um, that's a, you know, it's going to start to affect us, the mm -hmm. water quality, and, uh, and, and, you know, and again, marine life. But... Um, we had a chance to change this, mm -hmm. and I don't know if it comes back to us again, but right. um, we'll see what happens. But there was some change to make them responsible or have to pay a certain amount or something? Five dollars a bag. Oh. It's, it's really, um, you know. But were the board, uh, were they prepared? I mean, had people, obviously we weren't approaching them the, the right way, were we? So maybe it just a question. I'd also, I also asked in this regulation change that they consider um, every zip tie, every bag, mm -hmm. every piece of equipment out there should be tagged with, um, you know, whose grant it's from, yeah. um, you know, so that we can determine 
who's they are. Who, who's they are. There is so, so much on the this fall. Yeah. 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 Um, so much not just shellfish and too. Mm -hmm. well, and lobster too. Yeah. 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 Um, it's all, most of our, de our plastic debris that we're finding out in the water is from the, is from the fishing industry. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The zip ties are ubiquitous on, yeah. the, on, yeah. the, on the bay beaches. I think it would be nice to find an alternative to those. We talked about um, having a kind of show yeah. and tell meeting where they bring in some of the equipment mm -hmm. and that way and some of the alternatives as well. There are. When, when I was a kid and we went scalloping and used metal ties and there's mm -hmm. a little tool. Mm -hmm. It take maybe a couple seconds longer than a mm -hmm. zip tie. But. Mm -hmm. Maybe we can ask to be in, to either attend that meeting or you know, or to be told when the date is, because that would be interesting. It seems like it's a an opportunity like for a grant also mm -hmm. to look into equipment like either from SPAT or mm -hmm. I'm sure there are lots of other entities, care for the Cape and Islands that yeah. would offer help to that community for looking into alternatives. Yeah. Oh, sorry, that's more than I probably. Okay. So, um, like in terms of getting oh minutes, we have um, two. Uh, we have October uh, first meeting. Um, <clears throat> there are some pieces of paper around that have both of them on it, and then uh, September. So we need uh, people to review those and get them back to me. And uh, well, actually, we want to vote on them. So. minutes. <laughs> Second. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. And if there are any uh, typos or, or edits, please get them to me after the meeting. If you ever get a chance to get it, oh, let's take a vote. So, so I'll, 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 I'll check that. <laughs> I'm sure you do. Uh, let's do that one uh, again. <laughs> All those in favor of, appro of approving the October 1st, 2019, and September. September 3rd, 2019 minutes. Raise your hand, one, two, all of us, five to, five to zero, thank you. Uh, and um, Treasury report, so is the accounting department now producing some reports, not yet? Not yet. Hmm. They're still switching from one very complicated accounting system to another, as far okay. as I know. To another very complicated. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> right. Oh, we do have a new treasurer. Uh, well, no, yeah. Town accountant. We've had a new treasurer. Yeah. Okay. Well, hope maybe for next month. And our next meeting is on December third. Uh, I will be away uh, okay. for two weeks. So we will chair. We may want to change the date of that meeting because I I was actually gonna. Add work that day in Provincetown, okay. so... There's a chance I can't do that day. Either. Maybe yeah. we should Already. choose another date, maybe the week after? Yeah. How's that sound for yeah. folks? Yeah. Or another day that week might be, you know, the tenth is going yeah. to um, Okay, well, why don't we try that? We'll either do the week after, or, or I'll look at the library availability for later that week. Okay. okay. So either December 10th. And I did, this is not on the agenda, but Chris, I did want to, add, well, let's adjourn. <laughs> I just wanted to ask you if you're interested in moving up to a full-time member because um, Jed has joined the little committee, town committee, and is interested in moving on. Okay. Yeah. Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. All right. Mm -hmm. So then I'll become an alternate. It's up to you whether you can either, uh, we can. Yeah, that's perfect because there's, there's five or six months a year. It's not an issue for okay. me to be here five or six Well, that would be wonderful. So you guys will just. Yeah. Okay. Wonderful. Probably have to, to mm -hmm. No, but they probably Good have to go to the um, select board. <laughs> you guys just have to apply through the select board to make that switch. Okay. So. Okay. How do we do that? Uh, <laughs> uh, you'll go in and see Jean on the second floor. Okay. And she'll get you on the agenda. What okay. we could do is send uh, an email um, for both yeah. to mm -hmm. get on the agenda. Okay. All right. I have to go in tomorrow to give them stuff for me. Residential tax abatement, so I'll stop in and tell okay. her I'm looking to alternate. Okay. Um, let's formally adjourn the meeting at 12.25. Thank you.